on this video again we're four for four if you watched all four man oh man who my heart is beating so much for you right now because I appreciate that so much okay so let's get into it I asked you all to slide into my DMS with any questions you had and you did not disappoint got a lot of DMS that day they were just questions though they weren't anything creepy today so how are you always so positive and bubbly all the time like your positive energy literally jumps off the screen Oh my goodness that's so sweet and there was another how do you stay so positive when life must get you down sometimes I don't want to bring the mood down but I feel like I kind of got to tell a little bit of my backstory first to kind of explain how I got to where I am and the mindset that I am now and should I draw a picture I feel like I should draw a picture sorry this is good this is a long answer but I feel like I have to like kind of encompass some things in it first so let's see I was raised by a single mother who is amazing and I love her so much. That's that's my mom and that's me. Okay. And so one day my mom was like, Hey Courtney, I want to introduce you to, to someone. And I was like, Who mom? Who you want to introduce me to? And then she was like, Oh, I want to introduce you to my boyfriend, Jim. And so uh, my mom started dating this man named Jim and he had a daughter who was a year older than me Jordan and she's now my step my stepsister but you know she's my sister we've known each other since I was eight and she was nine so like that girl's blood we like lived our life and our little family our little like you know our little mixed race family everyone was always confused when we went to restaurants because Jim was white Jordan was white my mom is full Native American and I'm half black half Native American so we just look like this beautiful mixing pot all these restaurants and everyone's like over there trying to do math trying to figure out how all these people fit together they get married and we added one more in there and so I have a little brother between my stepdad Jim and my mom came Connor so it's just us five bopping around living our lives and uh, something unfortunate really happened my stepdad he passed away suddenly and that was kind of like I've lived one of the worst days of my life at a very early age and just kind of seeing the emotional like turmoil that followed that with my family and trying to just feeling this burden of needing to take care of my mom and my sister and like trying to fix this problem because you know with death it's never easy and experiencing that you really learn to appreciate every single day that you have here every single day that I wake up and I open my eyes and I see the sun shining through my windows every single day that I hear my mom on the phone or hear my brother laughing or I get a text from my sister those simple simple moments I'm just so appreciative because I know that it could be gone in a second. Having experienced such a low is really what brings me that, such a positive attitude on a daily basis. Whether it's like, you know, studying for exams or, or stressing about finding a job or just any, any little thing that could like, you know, it's really stressful and you're allowed to be stressed about those things for sure, 100%. But I'm just saying from my perspective, I see how little those things matter in the grand scheme of things. I see that love is the most important thing and my family is the most important thing. And so every day that I wake up and I get to experience this life, I get to wake up, I get to go to the gym, I get to smile, I get to breathe, I get to go running. I'm really, really grateful for that. And so that's kind of how, like where my positivity stems from ultimately. Thank you so much for that question. And well, to the next one, which is, what is your current workout split? Do you train legs twice a week? And if you do, do you find that your legs are still sore by the second leg day? Thank you so much for your question. Well, currently my workout split is Monday, chest and back, Tuesday, first leg day, focused on glutes and hamstrings, 
Wednesday is shoulders and arms, so shoulders, biceps, and triceps. And then Friday is my second leg day. And my Friday leg day is more quad focused. And I don't find that I am like still sore after that amount of time. If I am still sore by my Friday leg day, I just move it to Saturday. Saturday is a full upper body day. So I just do supersets of chest and back and shoulders and just a quick arm circuit. I hit every body part once during the week. Saturday is like a let's put this all together in a big like pot. And then Sunday is my rest day. But normally I don't like to rest, so I just go to the gym and I like, I do hit or I walk on the Stairmaster. So what motivated you to get healthy and get fit? Okay, so I have always been super into sports and athletic. Going up through like high school, I ran track and cross country and I played soccer. And then I got to college and I played club soccer for a couple years. And after the passing of my stepdad, I was dealing with a lot of grief and I had, I like I stopped doing things. I stopped playing soccer after that because it got kind of hard with my just emotions and wanting to take care of my family and stuff like that. So I didn't have an outlet for my own grief. I truly turned to fitness as an outlet to, to begin to deal with the grief that I was feeling. One day I just went on bodybuilding.com. They have like little standard guides you can print out, like a like I think it's like a four day workout split. And they have all these videos that show you exactly how to do the workouts. So all I did was I printed out the guide. I didn't know how to do any of those workouts. All I knew how to do was a squat and I realized I didn't even know how to do that. I was doing it wrong for all my life. So I would watch the videos on how to do the workouts in my classes, like behind all my like notes and stuff. And I like couldn't wait to get to the gym because it was just finally a time where I could breathe and I didn't have to think about everything. It was just, it was just you're alone for an hour and a half, an hour, two hours in the gym, just doing your own thing, worrying about your own self and trying to process your, like your own thoughts and stuff. And it was just, it was a very, very peaceful, very like needed time for me after just like really just needing it for my mental health I started to see like the smallest changes like the little bit of muscle coming in on my arms and like like I've never seen any definition in my arms before I could never do I've never been able to do push-ups in my entire life have I been able to do a push-up and I was doing push-ups and I was just like oh my gosh I could just really start seeing the, re the results and I just really fell in love with going to the gym like to the point where I was like Courtney you need a rest like you've been to the gym every single day for the past like 12 days and like you're you like you need to rest to like grow. See, I just got hooked. Like I just found I found my place. So <laughs> did I did I answer that question? I'm so sorry. It takes I'm just ramble. I just ramble through all of these. Another fitness related one. Do you always plan on tracking macros? How do you find a balance between achieving your fitness goals through macro tracking and living your life, social events, family dinners, etc.? So I tracked my macros so precisely from like January to like mid-April and oh my gosh that was the most challenging thing I've ever done. So now I kind of live by this like three day rule. It really only matters what you eat within three days. So you know you have you have a cheap meal on one, day one like you eat healthy the next two days like you're fine. You, you, got, you got a three day window. I'll prep my meals like I used to do for when I was tracking them really closely for those four months. If I don't feel like eating one of those meals, I'll just eat something else. And I'll, just, I'll like lightly track the macros because I can kind of eyeball like how much is what now that I, I did it for four months. But I'm not super strict. So if I don't want to eat chicken and sweet potato, then I won't eat chicken and sweet potato. I'll eat some like ground turkey with some zucchini noodles or something. But also like with family dinners or anything like... I just, if I'm, I'll just eat less, like eat less of the food. My grandma makes the best Indian tacos in the world, oh my gosh, but one of those pieces of fry bread, probably like a thousand calories, like so delicious though. So you know, it's just moderation, like I'll still eat it, I won't like restrict myself, I'll just eat like a smaller portion. And like I said, three day window. This one says, what motto do you live by? Ooh, love from London. All right, all right, I see you, girl. Okay, what motto do I live by? Hmm, I haven't really thought about this that much. If I had to pick a motto, anytime I feel like I can't do something, I'm just like, like, no, stop, you got this, you got this. And so if you, if you, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, 
you can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> At the end of my caption, sometimes I'll post, you got this, and that's like one of the things I like say in my head sometimes when I kind of doubt myself, I'm in a situation, I'm just like, oh, can I do this? Oh, uh, can I? Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, no, no, stop it, stop. Get that doubt out of there. You got this, you got this. So that's kind of something I started to just throw out there to other people, like, you got it. Don't let that doubt, that doubt's gonna creep in there, but you gotta push that right back out, cause you got this. So I feel like if I have a motto I live by, it's you got this. We can do this. You just gotta believe in yourself. Sometimes you just, you need that extra push, whether it's from yourself or from someone else, and yeah, all right. Well, I'm sorry, I've been rambling. What are your plans after your graduation? I know that you're in law school now. Do you know what kind of law you wanna practice? Or do you think that you'd go into the fitness industry full time? I think, oh, so for those of you who don't know, I just finished my second year of law school. Law school is three years. My plans after graduation is to get a J-O-B, you know? I've never thought about going full time in the fitness industry, especially since I just, I just, you know, post some pictures on Instagram every once in a while and I just decided to start a YouTube channel because I just wanted to explore this avenue and share with, share. But, yeah, I don't know. I, hopefully I can like integrate fitness within that like sphere somehow. Do you know what kind of law you want to practice? I'm kind of more drawn to like the business side of law so I think I'd do something within that, that area. I noticed there is a cat in the back of your what you eat in a day video. Is she is she yours? Yes, she is mine. Thank you so much for asking. I was really hoping someone was going to ask me about my cat so I didn't have to just like bring her out myself and like proclaim that I'm like a crazy cat lady like on my own. Here she is. This is the love of my life. Look at her. She's so perfect. She was sleeping and then I picked her up. But look at this face. Say hi. I hope that was an okay q and I hope you kind of learned a little bit more about me and if you want me to do another one, I can. You can like it if you want and you can subscribe if you want to see more great videos like, like this one and the other three. And just remember, you got this, you got this. I hope you have a beautiful day. Okay, bye. <laughs>